Hello and welcome to the Geek Den for issue 53 of our R2D2 build. Uh, so this is our test circuits and our test board for the sensors. So we'll come on to all that in a minute and what you'll need. But let's have a quick rummage through the magazine. So we have more of the Empire layer. So how they uh, how they basically done it. All lots of behind the scenes stuff as always. And we also have Cyborgs Part 2. So obviously we've got the man himself, Grievous. Uh, then we come on to endoskeletons. Uh, robotic endoskeletons that we can actually wear and use. This is all quite cool. And now we come on to our circuit board. So we will need our circuit board from a previous issue. Now this is the circuit board that will actually be fitted into our R2 unit and as you can hear I'm opening up the other one and you need this, this <coughs> and the battery pack you also need your lightsaber tube and lightsaber or take it out whatever you need and also the two legs that we've already built so one half leg and one full leg so uh, this is the test board this is the actual board that we fitted into our R2 and Remember, it's always best to keep these bits in their plastic coverings. So keep these coverings. Uh, one, it, it, it stains from dust getting into it. And also, it's just easier to store if you keep them like this. Uh, first things first, obviously, take all these wires off. Like so. Then we need the tester board. Out. I'm always very cautious about holding a lot of this circuitry. I know it's quite durable, but I just find sometimes that I might break it or something. Anyway, uh, so we have the tester board. This is the tester board. I want to grab the blue wire one, blue and orange. And there's a green wire there as well. And you want to grab the smaller. So there's two ends. Um, as you can see one's bigger than the other you want the smaller one and that goes in like so then we grab the other one once again one side's smaller and it goes in this end or is it the bigger end no it's the same so that goes in like so then we need our actual board um, So, so um, firstly first, grab our blue wire, which goes into this big section just here, and wait till it clicks, and our yellow wire, which goes in like this. So that should look like this. Then we grab this tester cable, and plus the tester lead in it which is the black one and I don't think it's the right one uh, I'm gonna have to look for that so give me a second hey, rushing ahead not really looking okay so basically you just need that so just take this uh, little tester bit off here and then this goes in our tester board which is just here Wait, it's all lit up uh, the red light indicates that it's on. And then we have the, uh, the lights there. So, first things first. Is to grab our lightsaber. Let's take that lightsaber out for a second. And uh, first things first. So, always leave the little tabs on like this I just find it a lot easier okay so first things first we have so near the yellow one is the black and yellow one goes that one to there 
and then the little one go through just the side of it. Okay, so let's turn it on. And as you can see, it works. Let's put our lightsaber in there. So, that works lovely. So it only comes up a little way. As you can see, just enough for you to grab it. Like so. And obviously goes back in. I'm quite happy that works. Okay, so turn it off and take it out of this section here. If I can. Okay, next we need to get our fully functioning leg and what we need <coughs> at first is this one is this lead so we need to just plug this right here uh, into into this socket here so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so we need to see the circuit board for this. So, I'm going to lay it down a minute, as you can see. So, the sensor we're testing is, is it this one? point it there is a slight clicking noise coming from it now It's very temperamental and I don't know why anyway uh, the light goes on and off as you can see when I touch it and get near to it and we can uh, I'm just I'll point it for the floor there you go can you see that it goes off on off on off <laughs> on there seems to be a slightly a little bit of a delay there okay um so that works so let's just disconnect it for a second and the next wire we're going to test is our uh is our red and green um red and yellow wire from the leg so this wire and according to it goes in just here so I've got a little desk here so I'm just going to pull it off the desk and see if the light goes off straight away do you see that so the sensor is here and you can see that so it's on a surface off a surface on a surface off a surface so that's quite good to know as you can now make it blah, 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 blah. Uh, that one's a little bit more responsive than the other one but i'm not too fussed at the moment now we need to try to separate this <laughs> these things go in they don't want to come back out again come on <sighs> Thank you. 
Okay, so for this one, we also, for this leg, we also have the sensor that we can also test. I'd imagine it goes into this one. So, as you can see, it's very temperamental. Um, so I don't actually know what it's what it's picking up. Uh, sometimes it, no, let's, let's just separate all this for a second. I might be able to pull it out a little bit. So here it is, the sensor. So let's just plop it out a minute and have a little look at it. So this is the sensor. quite concerned because it's it's very it doesn't seem to be working at all now but then again I don't know how sensitive this is uh, the light indicates covers on when it hits an object and it's going on and off on Um, so it's very temperamental. I don't know if they're all like that. But as we're building this, we don't actually have to install this. Because um, this could muck up our, uh, our R2 unit. So I might, when time comes, uh, I might not actually... As you can see, it comes on and on, on, on and off, on and off. So I don't know whether there's a maybe there's a circuit problem within here or or, or there. Um, but remember, this is your R2 unit. You don't have to do everything it says to do. Let's turn it off now. Um, let's try it. So every now and then it sort of I don't know I don't know I have no explanation anyway uh, that is it for this issue so let me just quickly put this leg back together uh, turn this off um, remember what I said so the tester board can be kept out but the actual board is best to be kept in the box it come in it's easy for storage it doesn't get any dust on it it's less likely to get broken so just like so remember to keep it stored like this uh, I'm just quickly gonna put this back together um, yeah I don't really know I probably won't um, I probably won't install the, that that particular sensor there the, the bottom one yes uh, it works perfectly but the the shoulder one is very temperamental and I don't know why I don't know whether it's the circuit board whether there's not enough power going through it could be anything um but to be fair i'll probably take it off anyway just because i don't know how well it will detect or anything like that um and we don't have to have it on there it won't it won't it won't stop working if you know what i mean all right all. so let's have a quick look put these legs away at what is coming next time there we go. So
so um, issue 54 is next um, we've got some more dome uh, plates here and we've now got the bearing and the other plate for our wheels so our wheel will effectively will be put on to here uh, in our next issue which will be bringing you here at the Geek Den so make sure you click to subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next video